Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name's Hirelli and today I'm going to try to do a little comparison of these two um, covers. This one here is from Hobonichi and it's the Hobonichi Note. It's N-O-T-T-E and this one is the Filofax Personal Zip. And the reason I say try is because I'm very scatterbrained and <laughs> um, sometimes I just I forget to do things. So I'm going to try to show them as thoroughly as I can. That way, if I miss something, as I am verbally walking you through, maybe visually you can see something um, different that I'm not that I'm missing, right? That I'm not going over. So um, I got these because I couldn't decide which one I wanted for my weeks. And um, obviously... They, they obviously, I don't know if it's obvious to you, but to me, I can see a little difference. Um, the Hobonichi one comes with the gold zipper and the Filofax comes with a black zipper. Um, the Filofax is a little bit taller than the one from Hobonichi. Um, as far as their zipper pulls, this is the one that comes with the Filofax one. I think that's so cute. But then the one from Hobonichi comes like this. It's, I mean, it's just a little bit bigger, but not really big to where you can you know put it around your wrist or anything so that's what they look like let's turn around like this the one from Hobonichi says hand write and it's got a little like fountain pen nib and then the one from Filofax says Filofax they have almost um just looking at them they look like they have the same texture but this one um I don't know this one you can feel the texture this one feels more smooth even though you can still see um, the texture on there it just it does it feels more smooth um, as far as the back this one is just plain Jane and but the one from Filofax has a large pocket down here okay let's go over the one from Hobonichi first so you open it up and you've got one zipper here it says Hobonichi right here it's got this large pocket this large pocket it's got a large pocket and this is supposedly where you can like slip in your cover or your yeah your cover for your planner and it's got another pocket um right there so one there and one here then you've got one two three four five six seven uh card slots here and then this little pen loop thing that's really only good for um, like using your clip on your pen. This is this. So just like that. So that's it for this one. There's no extra hidden anything and they're just those two large pockets, two pockets over here and then the seven card pockets. That's it for this one. For the Filofax, um, it's roomier. It comes with planner inserts. This is a week on two pages and it's actually a horizontal layout and this whole thing will slide out. Okay. Um, where shall we start? So you, obviously it's got this big back pocket here where you can slide in your cover. You've got a pocket, an elastic-y kind of pocket here. Oh, and then you've got this. Okay. And you've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 card slots in here, plus another large pocket back in here. And obviously this opening. On this side, you have Filofax here, but then you've got this pocket. There, This is not a pocket. I can't slip anything down in here. Um, you've got this zipper in here. Then you've got this opening and another six card slots plus this back here was this one like that too yeah and then you've got this pen loop here and this one is straight up elastic so I mean I don't know let's, let's find something so a Tombow pen fits in there so something pretty narrow um, I don't keep a lot of my pens on my desk anymore, so I can't compare too many things. So there's that. That one's kind of hard because it's got a little grippy on here, but let's see, like that fits perfectly in there. A little Tobacco. That 
fits in there too. So that's it as far as pockets and such in each one of these little covers. Um, let's see. Here is my Moterm. Um, let's see. So just height wise, it's more similar to the one from Hobonichi. The Moterm one is just a teeny tiny bit shorter, but like nothing really. And as far as the one from Filofax, I'm trying to line them up here. The Filofax one is a little bit taller. I'm going to take out a couple of my planners and see how they fit. Okay, so these are both of the Hobonichi weeks that I'm using this year. One is a standard weeks and one is a mega and it's pretty, um, it's getting chunky. So, let's see, both of them have covers on them and I think I'm going to have to remove the covers. Give me a moment. Alright, so let's start with the standard one, and this one I don't use very many stickers at all, so it's not really chunky. This is basically how it comes. And if I stick this in that packet that's closest to the back, this one from Hobonichi, um, I don't know, like, I feel like it's not, um straight you see how this is kind of like slanted this way that kind of bugs me let's try it in here again this is the filofax with a standard hobonichi weeks with really no stickers in it and this like it's a really nice comfy fit i'll throw a pen in here That one feels better. It doesn't feel like it's slanted at all. It just feels nice. Okay, so that was for the weeks with no stickers. Now let's get my chunky weeks. Oof, that's a stretch. That is a stretch here. That's, that's a stretch. I don't know, maybe none of these are going to work for me. Okay. And then... I haven't tried my... Okay, so now let's do my Chunky Weeks and the Hobonichi cover. I don't, even, I don't even know if this is going to close, to be honest. Let's take out my Ollie clip. Yeah, I don't even think that's going to close. I don't want to ruin this because I don't think I'll keep it. But you see, like, when I go like this to close it, how this one is lower than this one up here? It's because it's, like, slanted over here like this. So this one is definitely a no for me. Um... It's very cute, but it's just not going to work for me. This one has a ton more pockets. The reason I like this one, friends, is because, one, like my little book fits in here, right? It's great. Let me put my cover back on this. I apologize for the glare, but um, that's just, it is what it is right now. Um, maybe it's not going to be it is what it is because I don't know if it's going to fit in there with the cover. Shoot. Okay, so. <gasps> no. I don't want to have it without a cover. Or am I not keeping any one of these? 
maybe I have to cut my little clear cover. Oh no. Um, well, shoot. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me experiment just un momento por favor and I'll be right back. Okay, that was really dumb, friends. I wish I would have cut from the bottom and not the top, but um, crap, it is what it is. All right, so I just cut, let's see. Just a very little bit off the top, just basically just the part where it's <laughs> sealed. Uh, let's see if that does anything. Yep, okay. Okay, so the reason I like this one is because from time to time I like taking my cash envelopes with me on the go and this one has, you know, space for that in here. And the current cover that I'm using from my budget weeks, I don't have that option really. I'm using right now this Moterm and as beautiful as it is, it's just not working as a, um, you know, I can't take my cash with me. I have to take separate things with me, but with this one... I could put in all my cards here and I don't have to worry about everything and I can take all my cash in here. Um, so this is great. I kind of really like this. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to return the other one. I just, I think this one is better. Plus we've got this pocket in the back here. This one is way better. So I'm going to use this one for my budget. It does kind of bug me that my cover like um, protrudes over here, but that's okay. I'll get over that. I'd rather have that than not have my little clear cover. And I don't want to cut this one. This one was a gift. So there's that. All right, friends. So that is the comparison today. Um, I hope that was helpful at least. I'll have both of these linked down below. I found them both on Amazon, so I'll have them bo both linked down below if you're interested. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for being here, for spending time with me, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.